Hi, this is Style Marshall. And in the following tutorial, I will demonstrate how to make soft cloth physics in iClone and send it to Unreal for further adjustments to make it look like this. So, we start with the standard character. I change this into my self-built Barbie character. The Barbie character was created with headshot and some custom-made morphs. I change the eyes a little and make them bigger. In addition, my eyelashes are too long, so I shorten them. Okay, I like that so far. Now all I have to do is bake the modified morphs. Don't forget to reset the uh, eye occlusion and the tear line because we have changed the size of her eyes. Now the lady only needs some wear. Let's see which dress suits her. I'm going to take a dress from our publishing from the Reillusion content store. Here I choose fit body shape, because the dress is quite tight. We can delete the bra, because it's no longer needed. Let's see if everything fits, of course not. But no problem, we can adapt the dress and recalculate the collisions. Still not perfect, so we are going to increase the size of the dress a bit. Now let's change the color from purple to red. Okay, now the shoes. I guess I will give her over knees with high heels. The last thing I need now is blonde hair. Let's see if I can find the right one in the swarm hair collection. Yes, I like the Lyco hair. I will take it. So that we won't have any problems with poke through in Unreal Engine later, I will hide the mesh under the shoes and under the dress. So far, so good. Let's send the character over to iClone. Here I use a brief propagated catwalk consisting of a loop that I extended and edited with a few head animations. Here we already see the first problem, that the wrist or forearms touch the dress. That's why we are going to turn off the wrist under the collision shapes.
Next, I will try a few clothes physics presets until I like the right one. I do the same with the hair. I try a few presets until I like it. Now I check the white maps again, which have been already been graded. Good. Less work. Last but not least, I bake the close physics so that the animation runs smoother. Now we can switch off the iClone physics engine so that we get good frame rates. That looks good. Now we can send the character over to the Unreal Engine with Lifelink. Okay, now we are in uh, Unreal Engine. First thing to do is, is paste in an iClone origin and parent the character under the origin so we can set the feet to the ground now we activate the lifelink in unreal you get a green light there so it's linking correct We activate play to see the Unreal Physics. We can stop the runtime now. To record the animation, we need the sequence recorder. We give the recording a name, Catwalk Barbie. We paste in the iClone origin together with the Barbie character. Now in the engine settings, I check if fixed frames is ticked and the frame rate is at 60 FPS. In iClone, I changed from real time to by frame mode to get the smoothest animations. That's a problem when you are working with uh, speech or music where you need absolute sync, it's better to work in real time. But in my case, it doesn't matter, so I take by frame. Now we open the finished cinematics and we have to hide the lifelink character to see only the recorded character. Let's check it. Looks okay. Okay, now we go into the mesh for checking the physics. We have an animation and let's see how it looks. Not that bad. Let's see what we can change. So first we have three different close data, two for the hair and one for the dress. So here are the physics, starting with hair. A lot of settings. So I only use a few. Friction, 
can always trial and error and see what happens. That's the best thing to do sometimes. Tether stiffness. Uh, I can't explain what this all is. You have to try it out by yourself. The most important settings are definitely the tether stiffness and tether limit and collision thickness. The other things like stiffness or stretch limit or stiffness multiplier sometimes do nothing. I don't know why. That's physics. To make it look cool, I changed the viewport to physical mesh. And back again. Okay, now I'm trying to change some settings again. Trial and error again. But always looking to the clothes and the movement. I decrease the collision thickness. But there are still huge hip bones. Hmm. Okay, I think I will change this with uh, capsules. Okay, let's do a save and let's go back to the hair for more tweaking. So we have two hair layers. I increase the gravity scale. so that the moving is a little bit less. And again, the tether stiffness makes it a little bit stiffer. Okay. Now to the capsules. A lot of capsules. And you directly can see that the hip capsules and also the leg capsules are a little bit too large. So, we make them smaller. Check the physical mesh. Also, you can delete some capsules, which you don't need to make the physics more accurate. So again, collision thickness. 0.5, now to 1. Okay, looks better. Still fine adjustments. The hip on is still a problem. So, I make all capsules a little bit smaller. Now let's see how the, yeah, now let's see how it looks. Looks okay. Do a save. Now let's check it with physics on. Everything is working right. No poke through. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. So here I have a pre-made environment with some guys and some girls standing and walking around. I did some animations in iClone so they fit to the catwalk. I copied all the Barbie data and pasted it in this scene. And that's how it looks like without physics. And now when I render, you can see the physics. So, 
that's the final render. She's looking around, and then guys uh, whistling, and she looking. She's looking around and around, and the last one is saying, "Hey, nice shoes." And the shoes are starting to light. That's the idea. Thanks for watching.